Hi, I just want to talk about um, the Candice Sing Show video of Dragonfly or the God Duo video and why I don't think it works. Now, she has two comps and I, I have two counter recommendations why you should not put Candice over there. Um, first one, the first comp of this is a freeze comp which uses Can Candice Sing Show uh, Kazuha, which I don't have, and um, Ka uh, Rosaria. Now, the problem with that call is that Candice is only boosting normal attack damage of Singsho, which is single target, and we actually have a much better unit for free that can improve that comp if you really want to, and that is Kaea with his Cryo Resonance and um. AoE cryo damage. Now, the problem with that comp is that it's still mostly a 4 star freeze team. And uh, even with Kazuha, that comp's gonna have really low damage. That damage problem is going to be even worse if you have if you bring in Candice, who has low personal damage, compared to bringing Kaeya, who just helps the freeze team keeps up freeze longer and of course. Um, brings a lot of AoE damage due to his rotating icicles. And of course, you also have a resonance, uh, the cryo resonance, that boosts all the unit's crit rate. In comparison to Hydro Resonance, which just boosts shield power of the can of Candice and Synchro's normal attack damage. Um, four star only freeze teams have really low damage, and that's why I don't recommend them at all. Uh, but it can work. Right, but it's not something I'd recommend. So, putting Candice in there and reducing your damage even further is gonna be quite a struggle. Um, the other one, the other comp that he talks about, is a Candice Hyper Bloom team with Candice Singcho, Dendro MC, and uh, Cookie Shinobu, obviously. Um, and then he shows a video where uh, he actually beats. Uh, Prima G of Bishop faster with Candice instead of Kazuha being the fourth member. Now, uh, yes, I do think Candice can provide enough for single target, but there is another unit who acts like Kazuha, um, but can provide much, uh, also personal damage, much more than Candice does, and that's Hazel. Um, Heijo will be able to swirl off every single charge attack he does, thanks to Singsho. Um, and then you, you'll be able to enjoy 60 bonus elemental mastery because of Heijo's passive. Uh, and you'll just have a lot more damage than a boosted normal attack from Singsho. You also get to keep a good amount of AoE, thanks to swirls, and a perfect kick. A perfect wind muster kick is gonna group up enemies. Um, I think Keijo is a really good investment compared to uh, Candice in this situation and Keijo will work at C0 in that comp but becomes even stronger the more cons you have uh, whereas Candice still kind of stays roughly the same. Um, of course there is also Sucrose but obviously Sucrose, Dendro Traveler, Kuki Shinobu, uh, and Sincho is a really strong pair already. There's, I don't think I need to explain how good uh, Sucrose Sincho is. But yeah, uh, I just don't want people to think that yeah, this is really worth investing into and then they get disappointed. Um, I don't think the Candice Sincho pair is worth investing into. I think Candice actually works a lot better if you just put her national, right? Like, yeah, I know people are sick of national. They don't want to see Bennett Shangling anymore. But let's face it, if you are uh, a parry player, which you probably are because you are playing Candice, you would want national because at any time, Candice can go in and just block. Uh, in comparison to these comps where Lots of things require setup, or, or in freeze where she doesn't even want to use norm the second string of her normal attack because it breaks the freeze. Um, Candice National is just 
very good for the parry play style. Candice can just come in anytime and happily parry for you. Um, that's all, and I hope you guys have a good day.